Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. All right, coming up on 450, and Ben, we are off to a really cold, dare I say cold start out there. <laughs> well, for some towns, especially yeah. in the Adirondacks, it is in the 30s, wow, so yeah. heavier jacket may need to come out as it sometimes has to in September. Of course, we know the temperatures can get much colder than this, but it is the coldest morning of the season so far, starting off at 37 in Tupper Lake and Lake Placid, lower 40s into the Northeast Kingdom. We're in the upper 40s right near Lake Champlain, 48 in Plattsburgh and Burlington. The water temperature is still 67, so that prevents the temperatures from dropping off as far as they could. 40s down to the south, but look at this, 31 degrees in Saranac Lake. Now officially the first morning they've dropped below freezing in the Saranac Lake area. That normally happens around September 8th, so you could say right on schedule, if not a little bit delayed compared to normal. Close to 70 this afternoon, a decent amount of sunshine, but not a blue sky like we had yesterday. There will be some wildfire smoke that moves in, and you can see that plume of smoke is... Just crossing the Canadian border now, it continues to move to the south through the morning. By the afternoon, the smoke is right overhead, producing the hazy sunshine. But again, it's several thousand feet aloft, so no impact to air quality expected. However, the smoke lingers into Friday, so the hazy sunshine continues through the end of the work week. On Futurecast, you'll see very few clouds, lots of sun mixing in today, and we rinse and repeat for Friday, starting off mostly clear and chilly. A couple of fair weather clouds bubbling up in the afternoon, but no rain expected for the rest of the work week. The weekend has trended a little bit sketchy because we have this coastal storm off to the south. Now, a lot of models are keeping this thing to the south, but some of the short range guidance is bringing some rain as far north as central into northern Vermont, and this would be late Saturday into Sunday. Now, this is just one weather model. Obviously, we look at a collection of them behind the scenes, and I wanted to show you another one which illustrates the uncertainty. This one only has the rain getting up to about southern Vermont at the same time, but it still has the coastal low forming right around the Delmarva Peninsula. So there is some uncertainty with this forecast, but here's what we know right now. Saturday morning is dry and cloudy. The best chance for rain is southern Vermont, but that may come farther north depending on how things trend. And there could be some lingering showers into Sunday as well. We'll fine tune those details over the next 48 hours, but just keep that in mind for your weekend plans. Temperatures staying in the 60s and 70s. Looks like we're mostly dry with increasing sun for most of next week. Back to you. All right.